On Thursday, August 24th, MCK Chiefs held their second annual picnic for the community, this time at the new Splash Pad Recreation Park. There was a huge meal at the Golden Age Club, educational games for kids to win prizes, and several MCK information booths. Attendance peaked between noon and 2 p.m., and KTV got to the event at about 3 as it was winding down to ask organizers how it went. You know, it, it's just a, a nice, friendly way to, you know, come to, together with community in a relaxed, friendly, family atmosphere. You know, with the Splash Park, uh, you know, kick off the, uh, just a few weeks back. It's the ideal location, you know, you see people from children, you know, teenagers, uh, everybody in between, at, um, elders. It seems like everybody's having a good time. Everybody thinks this initiative is a great initiative. Well, I thought it went very well. Uh, people were a little bit hesitant to ask questions. I went to a few tables and said, do you have anything to ask me? Do you have anything that you want to know more about? And um, then they sort of opened up, you know, with a little bit of humor and they opened up and told me a few things and I think they're relevant to what we're doing today. And um, they liked the food, of course, and they liked the ambiance and of course they would have liked it to be a little bit warmer. Yep, definitely uh, good weather, good turnout. Um, you know, we wanted to try something different engagement sessions with the community, make it, you know, informal, look at the kids are out here having fun and, you know, the purpose of this was to ha give community members the opportunity to interface with the chiefs and ask questions, whether it's about politics or anything going on in the community or to bring up their concerns, which, to be honest, I'm approaching the community members to talk to them. So, you know, it's, it's something different though and something I think we're going to continue year after year and hopefully it uh, gains momentum. I think it's good because it's a relaxed environment and you know it's not a, at a community meeting where people are maybe put on a spot or feel uncomfortable. When you're here it's more relaxed and you can discuss things a little bit more openly and it, it's good to get out and meet people and it, overall it was very good. I was uh, volunteering helping out on the games. How'd it go? It went good. A lot of kids were out, they all seemed to be having fun. I think it's really cool that um, they have an event like this that's like really open and like more uh, laid back to get to talk to the chiefs and it's like in a, and it's nice that we have the new splash pad too so it's like a, a new place and it's a nice environment I find. I know I was approached several times by community members particularly with lands issues with Joe Odu concerns. I actually one person asked me about Bill 85 so um, you know I think uh, you know we accomplished what we had set out uh, to do today. I think it was really good. Uh, uh, we had a, a fairly good turnout, I think, uh, and it's nice to see uh, a lot of people from the community, from different cross sections of the community, that can have conversations and not be uh, stuck in a meeting room or, uh, you know, like in an office, or it's really free flowing and people feel comfortable to bring issues forward and the chiefs were engaged the entire time, so I think it was a really good event. Uh, I think it's great to, to get the word out there with the community as far as uh, what we do and how we do it and uh, information sessions like this, it, it's, it's great. It's, uh, it's, it's informative and I think it's a good time for all the, the kids as well. Again, hats off to everybody who had their hand in making today a success and especially the community for turning out and, and, and you know, making the best for this day which was created for our community.